Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to some more Card Shop Simulator! We have a few cards here. Basically, we're just picking up where we left off. Let's throw a couple more cards down here. This card's, oh, about $70. And this card here is, oh, about $56. i have opened up a few packs. Well, you know, waiting and stuff. Profit is minus $527.93. And now I just have to wait for the people to show up. So right now our card shop doesn't exactly have much money. Oh, stinky. I'm interested in seeing if they will play a game with the box on the table. <laughs> Change $42. Well, I just made $280 right there. Looking for a plush. Yeah, if only you had enough money. Some of these cards be expensive. Yeah, they'll play with the stuff on the table there. No. No, no, no. I like to imagine that they literally just pulled that from the box on the table. It's like, oh, here, let's buy these. Yeah, these individual cards that are worth so much money. Yeah. 
Yeah, the main issue with uh, trying to put them out for pricing and stuff is actually getting the cards. I just don't care if the product is partially used. Alright, so I need more green. I need... No way, I have the black dice. I need green deck boxes. Okay, uh... Green deck boxes, maybe two more boxes of booster packs so I can continue opening singles, you know, when I'm not uh, having an episode. box of that, I guess a box of that, accessories, shoot, I accidentally bought the wrong thing, Okay, cool. Right, so if I look in the cart, yeah, a bunch of booster packs and basic card box green, no, basic card box and then deck box green, and then the plushies. I'm sorry, buddy. Consider it a hazing ritual. Whatever. $640 sapperling. As someone who plays Magic the Gathering, that just seems absolutely ridiculous. Because sapperling in that game is a token. Oh, stranger, what kind of stuff do you want to buy? Two booster packs, you got it.
sorry, I paused it because from having worked as um, cashier and stuff, there's just someone buys some small order and they want a whole heap and lot of change. It's usually code for they are paying with counterfeit money and they want to transfer it to, into being real money. <laughs> Watch Mr. Baxter. Really? $300 for that much of a reno? Hey look! I just paid $300 to upgrade the shop. Are you proud? I thought it'd be like... More? I thought there'd be more of an upgrade. I might be able to get like one shelf over there. I remember seeing the demo that you buy the upgrade and it just like burr, 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 upgrades all of that at once. Um, apparently not. Yeah, when can I go into this back room to use this place as storage? Oh, you want to buy stuff. Yeah, the plushes! I thought they were going to be bigger, honestly. Yeah, really the absolute time sink strategy of try to get as many, yeah, get as many booster packs as you can afford. Get as many booster packs as you can afford and just keep opening them and then sell all of the fancy expensive stuff is, um, definitely the big plan it just it then you just kind of sit in here for hours just opening booster packs then I had made a joke at one point about, oh, imagine a card shop where, like, the person working there actually just sprays down their customers. Gosh, that would be very memorable. Uh, although it would ultimately probably be bad for business. But then also, like, imagine a world where you could just take some magic spray spray yourself down for like three seconds and then suddenly you don't stink anymore period you miss your chest of shower well just use this spray stuff spray yourself down for a few seconds everything good
Hey, sorry, buddy. I don't think anyone's going to come in here to play games with you. Yeah, I could get a second checkout counter, which I don't want now. Um... Can I get this in here? No. Gosh, I wish there was like a snapping tool or something. Just put that way in the corner. Snap this right on in. Like, that's not perfectly aligned yet. Basically aligned. Definitely not aligned. Definitely less aligned now. Okay, like, what do I even need here? Um, So, yeah, go back here, set up the colors again. Easy, easy. And then start using this for plushes and such. There are four different plushes. I actually do want to get all of those. Okay.
ain't easy, okay? Yeah, if I could get a, a fourth thing there, so I could get basically runoff, spill off, whatever. I could have the four things of dice and like four extra things of dice. Let's just put this on here for now. Green deck boxes. Sure, put those on these shelves. And a whole bunch of blue dice. So it's like, okay, well, blue deck boxes, yellow deck boxes. But I guess the most important thing is I want that $500 reno because there isn't quite enough space to put four shelves here. No matter how much I try. Oh wait, is this going to be enough space now? Like, could I move this slightly more to the left? Basically, get ready to put that shelf up there, like that. Take the blues, put down the blues. Take the greens, put the greens down here. Take these greens, put the extra greens down. So green is like, fine for now. Red is basically fine for now. So, wait, don't I have extra red dice? Yes, I do. So that's all the extra reds. Put those down. So I need black dice, blue dice. Boxes. I have extra on green deck boxes, which I don't really need. So let's see. Did I have like a ton of extra white dice? I guess not. Alright. Blue and yellow deck boxes.
black and white dice. And yeah, I still have tons of the plushes. And then yeah, booster packs are just way over here. And everything else seems fine, I guess. Darn it. Right. Want to buy that book? Want to buy the other three types of plushes? Want to upgrade the shop? So with that, I guess... Start a new day. Five customers dissatisfied because... Of course. Even with the upgrades, I still made it a nice profit. I don't think I have any, like, super expensive cards left, do I? Oh, I have one. Come on in, stranger. Try to totally restock the shelves. Be over eight hundred dollars because, gosh, deck boxes are expensive. And like I I can make a lot of money out of just selling very high cost singles. It's just the issue is Like I've been saying, I need to open them first. 
So probably, yeah, after this episode as well, stock up on a whole bunch of booster packs and just try to buy. Just try to open as as many cards as possible to try to open up lots of good value cards. Hello, stranger. Gosh, we're getting almost twenty dollars of value out of those things. Maybe I should have tried selling them earlier. TCG card stop simulator challenge run. Don't sell singles. <laughs> People have wanted blue dice.
Well. Nice purchase. That's my inventory looking. Black dice are looking good. Oh gosh, no singles for sale. Yeah, the table is a great investment because it'll pay for itself after a few days at least. Oh! Oh, I found a duping glitch! For some reason, when a customer buy or like picks up a single card with the intent to buy it, It'll show up back in your binder for like one second. So all you have to do is have some very expensive card on there. As soon as a customer picks it up, you'll be ready to put that card back down. They buy the card, you still have the card. So now, of course, I want to open up a bunch of card packs, get super expensive cards again, basically fill out one side forever with super expensive cards, stand at the other side, be ready to put down a new card. As soon as the expensive card gets bought, put it back down again. <laughs> This is for your own sake. Alright, card of a bit of value, but not... Like, I'm looking for a card of value of over $100. <laughs> Ideally. I'm hoping to get something 
really pricey so I can try to make good use of this uh, thing. Also, waiting for those customers to finish playing the game so I can get the money off of them. There they go. Did they both pay me or did it just say that I got the money twice? Good question. Don't know what the answer is, but good question. I'll just finish this set and that'll be probably about that. Hey, almost $20 card. Nobody bought those. I guess that's just not a very in-demand item. As expected. Yeah, nobody wants that. I don't know why that is, but nobody does, and it's really unfortunate. Nearly imperceptible, but for some reason still very visual glitchy. Wait, whatever. So hopefully, yeah, if someone tries to buy one of those, I can just put it back down again. And, uh, yes. Cool, 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 cool. I gotta think about it. Why not literally just do this? And also do this. More deck boxes here. Yes, I have a few blue boxes. doing that. I was neat and tidy. Alright, cool. So, next day of business. So I very much stopped. Oh, hey. 
Oh, I thought that that was like almost out. <laughs> Oh, I guess you should wait to open the store because as soon as you open it, time stops moving, right? So you should wait to open it until people are, like, at the door. Gosh, those two are just inseparable. Nice hair. <laughs> Did they already patch it? Oh yeah, I guess if they want- if they try to buy one that you already have at least one of in your bag, you're just going to that spot. Yeah, a few extra play tables. I feel like one more play table would be good. I don't tend to have too, too much demand. Let's just grab one more table real quick. And not use that storage room. Thank you. 
It was one person at each table. It's like, apparently none of those three want to play with each other. Seven dollar value cards. No, it's more important. Yeah, I cloned a few cards, I think. I cloned at least one. Yeah, finally someone's buying these things. Take one, flip it, use it on the person, flip it again, put it back in the box. A star blood? Nope, just a card. Didn't buy anything from that shelf. I, mean, I guess I could buy the last shop expansion and get that last corner done. You can definitely tell that they are planning on 
a lot more. Gosh, imagine if you could upgrade the size and just like get like a second floor. Yeah, having a bunch of these lots of shelves in the storage room back there would be nice. Oh my gosh, the wind is loud right now. Oh. Don't want to forget about the lights. So it looks like we're it's just starting to wrap up on another episode of Shop Simulator. Hope that this has been nice. Oh. I need a box. I need to buy a thing of blue dice. I think also red boxes, yeah. Blue dice, red boxes. Maybe also blue boxes. And green. Oh, that sure helps. I think that primarily the main thing that I want to order right now, instead of ordering all those, is to order as many of these as possible. go down to having almost no money but between what one two three four five six seven eight full boxes of these I should be able to get I mean if I can get eight hundred dollars worth of singles in these then that will have been worth it Let's plop down this first box. Right about here. Okay. Open up the box. Plop it down. Pull some cards out. Yeah! You get paid from uh, each of them. Wow, I totally could have afforded an extra box. Okay, 
now that's the end of the people. Could probably afford two more boxes, right? Okay, if I can get a thousand dollars worth of singles in these cards, that's worth it. Keeping in mind, the highest value of card in my binder is currently seven dollars. As well as cards I have out. So, if at the start of the next episode I have at least a thousand dollars worth of cards in here ready to go, then you'll know these purchases have been worth it. If not, <laughs> well then. That's not so good if that is the case. Actually, I'm kind of curious here as well. Now I paid the electricity bill. Fully, okay. Open up the box. I feel like I'm just going to be, um, mostly AFK for all this, but let's just stack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight. All I need is a thousand dollars worth of singles. I'll let you know next episode if I got it. 